This is Bornholm, an island just south of Denmark in the Baltic Sea. Just south of Bornholm, on the 26th of September 2022, the largest terrorist operation since 9-11 took place. That operation would eventually link back to the United States, Russia, Germany, Norway, and Ukraine. This act would forever change our understanding of geopolitics, economic theory, and modern warfare. Three out of the four gas pipelines that make Nord Stream 1 and 2 were destroyed in an apparent act of sabotage. Nord Stream 1 and 2 are two liquid natural gas transport pipelines that link the exporter Russia with the importer Germany. The pipelines were immensely beneficial for the two countries as Russia gets to export a natural resource that it has in abundance and supports its failing economy, while Germany can sustain its heavily industrialized economy by relying on Russia's efficient and cheap gas for 55% of its industrial production. After the 26th of September, at first, Western media blamed Russia, but then some facts started to arise and led to the questioning of the official narrative. Days after the attack, Russia publicly declared that it wants to join the investigation into the incident. As a direct outcome from the act, Russian gas markets slumped as Russia's GDP was heavily reliant on the country's ability to export its cheap gas to the European markets. Later, it was also evident that Norway, a NATO country and an exporter of natural gas itself, was readily mobilizing to fill the gap left by Russia. The final blanket of doubt came from journalist Seymour Hirsch. Seymour Hirsch is a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative journalist. He broke the news about the My Lai massacre in Vietnam and revealed the horrors of the American army prison systems in Abu Ghraib. On February the 8th, Hirsch posted a 5,000 word report onto his substack. In the report, he detailed plainly how the order for the destruction of the pipelines came from the US High Command. He explained how Panama City train divers planted the remote trigger C4 explosives during Baltops 2022. Baltops is a US-led naval military exercise in the Baltic Sea. He also explained the role of top-tier officials such as Victoria Nuland, Jake Sullivan, and Anthony Blinken in the operation. As of now, the Biden White House has yet to comment on the matter. If these allegations turn out to be true, the United States would have committed an act of war against both Russia, becoming directly involved in what used to be a proxy war through Ukraine, and Germany, its own NATO ally. Stay tuned for more updates.